A successful handover procedure in LTE for intra- and interfrequency mobility is described in the following steps. First the source E node B sends an RRC connection reconfiguration message to UE, containing the mobility measurement config. Once the threshold is triggered following the received mobility policies, the UE send a measurement report to the source E node B, the message contain the signal level of the candidate cells with their PCI. The source E node B decide if the handover is required or not, if required. The source E node B send a handover request to the target E node B. If the admission is successful in the target E node B, then the target acknowledge the handover by sending a handover request acknowledge to the source E node B. In the next step, the source E node B send a handover command to the UE, and the timer T304 is start to supervise the handover procedure. The timer T304 will be stopped after the completion of PRATCH procedure in target E node B. If the timer expires, the UE initiate RRC re-establishment procedure. If the PRATCH is successful in the target E node B, the UE send a handover complete message to the target E node B. That switch the downlink path from the source E node B to the target E node B, and send a UE context release to the source E node B. The UE receive the T304 timer value in the handover command from the source E node B. During normal operation, the UE report measurement to the source E node B. If the handover is required to a target E node B then the UE receive a handover command and start T304 timer. During T304 time the UE perform a random access procedure to the target E node B. If the UE fail to complete the PRATCH procedure and the timer T304 expires, then the handover is failed and a radiolink failure occurs. In the next step the UE initiate an RRC re-establishment procedure to recover the radiolink, by resolecting a suitable cell for re-establishment, and start T311 timer. If the timer expire and the UE cannot find a suitable cell, then abort the re-establishment procedure, and goes to idle mode. To summarize, when the UE receive a handover command from the source cell, the timer T304 starts, and the UE perform a random access procedure to the target E node B. If the PRATCH fail, and the timer T304 expires, then the UE initiate an RRC re-establishment procedure and starts T311 timer. During T311 the UE resolect a cell for re-establishment, if the UE cannot find a suitable cell and the timer T311 expires, the UE goes back to idle mode. After expiration of the time T304 plus T311, the E node B release the ERAB, and increment by 1 the LTE ERAB abnormal release cause handover failure. The main causes for a handover failure, random access failure and expiration of T311 timer are, we excel coverage in the uplink. Uplink interference. Improper PCI planning causing PCI conflict. Improper neighbors setting. Random access failure caused by improper root sequence index planning. Small number of preamble dedicated for non contention ratch. Improper P ratch power setting. Timer T311 is set to a small value. Heavy loaded air interface. Overloaded CPUs on boards. Improper mobility policies, for example cell resolution threshold. The number of users in a cell exceeds the upper limit.